If you're trying to connect GameCube controllers through a third party adapter to Nintendo on the Wii or the Wii U's VWii and it's not working, here's the fix. Here you can see the controller not working on Nintendo. That's mainly because it's not plugged in. But uh, just ignore that. Yeah, once again. So I, I was struggling with this for ages until I came across this forum from last year where someone else had the exact same issue. I found a lot of other people asking the same question but with no proper response. This is one of the only places I, I was able to find with this information in it. So I thought I'd make a video about it because I couldn't find any other YouTube videos about this. So basically I have this random third party GameCube controller adapter with no brand name. It's got a Wii U slash Switch to PC switch on the back as well as a turbo button that doesn't actually seem to do anything or even press in it doesn't work at all nintendo only seems to support official nintendo control adapters and the mayflash ones apparently and so i was starting to think i needed to get a different adapter to be able to actually use it on, on my wii u but it turns out that non-wii controllers work with nintendo using dot any files which can be customized to your liking at first i thought i reached dead end because i couldn't find anything about how they worked but then I found out the part that I needed to change it was very simple and it was right at the top of the file. And I later find out that Nintendo themselves already created the exact file I needed. So that's why this works. Here's what to do. You need to get this file from the Nintendo GitHub page, link in the description, and on the top right, probably. Then you literally just rename it to 0079 underscore 1846.ini. That's it. Oh, and then you need to put it in a folder called uh, controllers in the root of your SD card. As shown here. And that's it. That's, then it should work. And now it works. It works brilliantly. Monkey. It's it's plugged in this time. But no, it really wasn't working before. It, <laughs> I just didn't want to have to remove the file and stuff. Yeah. If it doesn't work, here's what you can do. Basically, in Nintendo, you can download controller files, but this one wasn't included for some reason, so <laughs> that's why it's not working. If it didn't work for you, then the vendor ID and product ID, or VID and PID, of your device is different to the ones that I've got. This means it doesn't have the VID of 0079 or the PID of 1846. So literally all you need to do is go into your device manager on Windows. I, I don't know how to do it on Mac. I, I tried. <laughs> I had to use parallels for this. And find out the VID and PID of your device and then just put them into the ini file. You could just edit it like a normal text file. It works fine. And then also into the name. The format is VID underscore PID dot ini. All right, yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Also, if anyone needs a tutorial on how to import the VWI's NAND into Dolphin, I can help with that. About half a year ago or so, I was having that problem where I, I couldn't put it into Dolphin. I couldn't find anything online about it. It was all about the regular Wii, not the Wii U's VWI. Uh, I couldn't find anything for ages, and I've eventually found a tool which can do it. Well, that's really annoying to set up. But I managed to do it eventually. So if you need a, tu a tutorial on that, then leave a comment, let me know, and I'll make it. But that's it. Goodbye.